Hey guys, it's Joanne. I just wanted to come on with a real quick video and show you the tile I created for Lisa Lisa's Halls Lisa's Halls Tile Challenge. Um, so what she gave us was just a blank piece of wood, and I really wanted to do it like do it up and oh, my camera keeps moving. Here, let's, sorry guys. Okay, so I really wanted to do it in like a country style. So I took the blank wood, the plain wood, and I painted it with um, the Robin's Egg Blue um, acrylic paint. And then I sanded it a little bit, and then I added this pickling wash on top. So if you guys can see, the wood itself, like it now looks a little bit um, distressed or, you know, stained over, you know, gives it kind of like that old rustic look. And then I had had a whole bunch of a whole bunch of things I ordered from a um, country craft store. I can't remember the name of the company right now, um, but I would if I remember and I can find it, I will post it down below. Um, so I bought these twigs, and they're kind of I think they're called like they're just like called berry twigs, I think. So I took a couple of these apart, cut them off, and then made them into a wreath. And then in the middle of the wreath, I put this um, old tin. They come like this. Um, I guess they're one and a half inches, but these are like primitive stars. And they're in a um, some sort of metal. I'm not sure if it's tin or what it is, but they're painted and rusted or look rusted anyway. However they do them, I don't know. So I took one of those because I had so many things that I bought that I haven't used. So I just um, used my hot glue gun, put that in the middle of the wreath. And then I bought these strips of fabric. So I just cut one down into a thin strip to make a bow here. So I tied the bow, hot glued that down. And then along this border here, and I'm almost wondering if I should do it along the whole thing. Uh, maybe I will. Because I think maybe that'll complete it. I only did it on the two sides. But I think if I do it around the whole thing, it might complete it. And it might help. Alright, so. And all I did was take um, some twine. It's from the Dollar Tree. Made it into a braid. And then glued it along the, along the edges. And then... The saying that I used, because I wanted to put a sentiment on it, and oh my god, guys, I tried embossing. I bossed, I embossed so much, and it just wasn't coming out. I was embossing on vellum, and it just like it just seemed too blurry. You couldn't read what I wrote, so I wound up stamping it on the vellum with the stays on ink, and then I just used a sentiment from my home to roost, the enjoy the simple moments. So I just cut it. And put it on there and then also in the background i used this chicken wire from stampin up and i just cut that down to go behind i tried to get the rooster i really wanted to put the rooster on but the rooster's just, it was too big and i had already done that so i couldn't add it so and then i just put a couple of these um self-sticking enamel dots so i'm actually going to take this and the braid go around the other side and then I am going to send this off to Lisa so I hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching have a good night